style, the ARGB looks fantastic on this build with this cooler. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Cooler Master Master Liquid PL360 Flux. I did receive this cooler to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Check it out, everything looks Great, they walk you through some key features on the back as well. So this cooler is obviously a 360 millimeter AIO. They have this available in multiple sizes depending on your case and your build needs. This cooler features an addressable Gen 2 RGB controller, optimal efficiency pump with our dual chamber design, and we have our enhanced sickle flow fan blades. Now let's go ahead, let's open this up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our product literature. This does come with a five-year warranty. Next, you can see our user guide and manual walking us through everything that's included, how to get everything set up. So they walk you through installation for Intel and AMD. Step-by-step, -step, very thorough. They even have LGA 1700 support for Intel 12th gen right out of the box. No additional hardware needed. Here's your AMD instructions as well. And then they have your wiring diagrams depending on how you want to configure everything for control, whether it's directly to the board or to the included controller and hub. Then you can see all of our supplies. We got our brackets right here, our screws. Here's our 12 fan screws, thermal paste. So this is the Cooler Master Master Gel Pro. You can see that right there. Nice thermal compound, two different brackets. The one in my right hand, this one's gonna be our LGA 1700, and it's clearly labeled for you depending on which route you're going if you're doing an Intel build. Next, you can see the controller itself. Looks really nice. We'll look at it from all different sides and angles. So power and USB on that side. We have our fan splitter cable right here. We have our power cable. We have our micro USB to USB cable, so we can connect that directly to our motherboard's header. And then you can see we have our ARGB splitter cable right here. Next up, we have our three identical fans. So check them out. They look really nice. See them from the backside. They are nameless, in case you're wondering. Showing zero to 2300 RPMs. And lastly, we have our radiator and cooler itself. So check that out. Designed by Cooler Master, flip it around. You can see it from all different sides and angles. Looks pretty similar, very basic as you would expect a radiator to look like. Then we can look at the pump housing. Be sure to remove that before use, obviously. And then we have RGB that's gonna glow on the top. And then you can see we also have a couple additional cables right there for the RGB and for the power and control. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. Now you can see we got our PC built and our cooler installed, everything looks great. Now let's go ahead, let's look at it up close. So check it out, look at how good the PL360 Flux looks up close, beautiful RGB lights. Now we can see the triple fan design with our radiator right there. Oh wow, the ARGB looks fantastic on this build with this cooler. It's running very quiet too, considering the fact that we have so many fans blowing in this build, especially with just the cooler itself. And then you can see our bracket right there, how it's installed. These have some flexibility so you can move them around as needed and you can rotate this cover. So you can see, we just rotated it some. So we can make sure we can line that up depending on our build. Can't do it one handed, but you get the idea there. And then you can see where our cables are connected as well too, running through here, using the provided adapters tucked away in the back and then coming back out to connect to our CPU fan and our pump fan headers on our motherboard. Now let's go ahead, let's see how good of a job this does cooling. Now let's talk about thermals. So first up, you can see we have all the panels on our case right here and it's just been idling for a couple of minutes. Check out the real world results we're getting right here for our CPU. You can see our current, our minimum, our maximum, and our average. So for our core temps, you can see our current is 29 degrees Celsius, our minimum is 25, our max is 39, and our average is 29 degrees Celsius. We have a lot of additional information so you can learn more about our memory temps, 
You can see our motherboard temps right here as well too. We have a lot of that information right here for you. Everything's basically averaging, I'd just say around 30 degrees Celsius. Again, this is just at idle. A little bit less for our RAM. You can see the average 28 and 26 degrees Celsius right there. Now let's go ahead, let's put it under full load for a couple of minutes and come back and see the results. So now you can see we have our CPU at 100% and it's been that way for over five minutes. We have all the panels on still and you can see the temperature results that we get now. So 47 degrees Celsius is our current temp at 100% load being maxed out. Our minimum 41 degrees Celsius. Our maximum we only peaked at 54 degrees Celsius. So this is keeping everything really nice and cool. And then you can see our average is 47 degrees Celsius for our temps and we can scroll further down and we can see some additional readings right here on the CPU around 50 degrees Celsius seems to be the average for some of those if we just quickly look at them and we'll go down to our memory and our motherboard you can see same thing right here looks like peaking at 49.9 everything else is below that high 30s or 40s and then our ram right now 32 degrees celsius and 34 degrees celsius and our gpu just hanging out at a nice 28.2 degrees celsius let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to the cooler master master liquid pl360 flux this is a great all-in-one cooler for your cpu if you want a liquid cooling solution with addressable rgb but you don't want to build it yourself right and do any sort of custom water cooling this is going to be a great out of the box option for you the rgb is fantastic it comes with a controller as well if you want to use that that also works with the master plus software from cooler master very very quiet cooler. You won't ever hear it or anything like that. The fans are quiet as well. And lastly, it actually works. So this keeps our CPU nice and cool. Now we use the Intel 12400 under 100% load. We didn't even peak at 60 degrees Celsius. So everything's running nice and cool, whether you're idling or if you're trying to max this thing out and put your PC under full load, you're going to be in good hands with this cooler.